Good evening, Zach. Now, approximately 3 million New York residents rely on the SNAP program, and I'm now joined by Randy Quackenbush, who's the Director of Community Impact. Now, Randy, for those who don't know, can you just kind of describe what is the SNAP program? Sure. SNAP stands for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program that's formerly known as Food Stamps, which provides income-eligible families with funds to go and purchase food to supplement their food budget and their income. Now, with the new role that was just is supposed to be instilled next April. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk about the impact that's going to have for SNAP for people who are on SNAP program? Sure. So the USDA is proposing a new rule where about 700,000 people across the country would lose access to their SNAP program, to the SNAP program. And that would have detrimental impacts on those individuals, their families, and their communities, and also have a ripple effect onto food banks itself. And we know anytime that SNAP is cut, it's going to have health implications, it's going to have um, implications for children's learning and for job promotion, and it's, it's never um, a good thing for any community. And locally, what can you tell us? How is it going to impact locally? Do you have any more information on that? So we're still getting analysis on, on the local impacts and New York State impacts. I do know that presently we have four counties in our six-county service area that have waivers to um, waive the time limits and the work requirements that currently exist.